wanted to ask, okay, because uh, you guys mentioned that there isn't enough time to showcase all the characters in the movie, which is really sad. Everybody is so great, so iconic on their own. So, would you consider doing a standalone movie of a character from this movie? And if so, who and why? Very important question. Well, we did that with Bumblebee and it was really fun and it was able, it allows you to be more intimate with the character and get to know them. Yes. Uh, we don't have a plan right now to do that, but uh, I think what happens each time when we make these is you come away and go, well, how are you going to make the next one without that robot? Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> and for me, Pete Davidson was is so good in this movie that it's hard to imagine not mm. doing Mirage. Okay, okay. And it's hard not to do Optimus Prime. Yeah. But I think if you're going to do a standalone, you mm. need a you need a character that is very communicative. So both Optimus and Optimus Primal are peop are, <laughs> are 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 characters of very few words. Ah. So, you know, probably Mirage is probably the logical Mirage. is the logical one. Okay, I was thinking the same one. Yeah. So, hopefully that happens maybe okay. we'll see. <laughs> Stand down. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. So you did mention as well, briefly, that there are some deleted scenes in the movie that you couldn't put in. Do you think you could share with one of us a scene from the movie, from the movie that you wanted to add in, but maybe you couldn't? Could you share with us that? That's interesting. Um, yeah, we had some. We had a scene where Optimus Prime, when you first met him, uh -huh. was in an action scene okay. uh, where he was really, and he was fighting a Decepticon, where he was really violent in a way you hadn't seen him before. Oh. And what happened was, it, it was a great scene, but what happened was you wanted the story to get going. And it and so it's one of the scenes that every movie, a few scenes go away because partly because when you see it, you go like, when you read something, sometimes you feel you need something else to communicate to the audience. But then when you see it, you go, oh, well, we didn't need that. Ah, oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So you're not gonna... It's not because it didn't work. Okay. It's because you didn't need it. Um, what is the most important thing you want your fans or the fans of Transformers, uh, the universe, to take away from this movie? Well, other than it's a good movie and they had a great <laughs> experience, uh, that we fulfilled their desire to keep growing the world that, we're, that they're experiencing. Uh, you know, we wanted the, we've been talking about the beast for a long time. We finally found a story that made sense that they came into it. So we're hoping that they feel like we really treated the beast right. Mm -hmm. And um, that it is a new experience for them. So um, I talked to some of the Malaysian animals back in Malaysia okay. <laughs> and uh, they told me they're really interested to audition to become the next Maximals. Uh -huh. So I think it's perfect to ask you. Which Lorenzo. one? Yes, so um, <laughs> I have a few of them. Um, they've sent me their portfolio. So uh, the first one is actually the Hornbill. So um, okay. the Hornbill wanted to show to you that they can fly. Oh, that's and cool. And they want to be called Cyberbill. What do you think, Lorenzo? Cyberbill is a good good name, too. Oh, okay. I like it. I think it'll I be like very it. Beautiful, too. All right, so the next one. Hornbill, movie. okay. Our <laughs> next person would be the Top Hair. And he wants to be known Top Hair Tron. Okay, Top Hair Tron, huh? Yeah, he has a long snort. You know, he can yeah. maybe uh, pick things yeah. up for everybody, maybe help uh, Optimus Primal. Yes? Yeah, I don't want to insult him, but. <laughs> I think I'm in the hornbill a little bit more. <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't have to know I was on Okay. All right. The next person is the orangutan. But uh, because, you know, Wu-Tang Clan is uh, very, very heavily based in the I movie. I like that. So he wants to be called Uten Clan. <laughs> so, yes. I love orangutans. I think that would be a great idea, actually. Okay. Nice, yeah. nice. I think yep. he'll be like chill, you know. He'll yeah. make, uh, make everybody at peace. Yeah. All right. And the last one. So we've got the air riser, you know. Rises in the yep. air. We've got the wall sticker. Sticks on the wall, very small. Nobody can see him. He can eavesdrop. He'd be like everyone's. a spy. He'll be like a spy. He should be a spy something. All right, all right. So out of all of the all of the animals, hornbill, top bear, orangutan, and I think I'm on, I think I'm on the orangutan. I oh! think it would be a, it would be a nice challenge also for <laughs> Optimus Primal. Might feel a little nervous that uh, the orangutan is around, which would be interesting. Wow, okay. So um, the hornbill is actually really, really excited, to be honest. It's beautiful. He, like, I he, didn't. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to be like, yes, I'm going to be the one to get it. But I guess the orangutan. Um, Lorenzo, thank you so much for being with me. And also, what can you tell Malaysians right now 
why they should come and watch Transformers. Tease them, mm. bait them. <laughs> uh, this movie has heart, a lot of heart. It has a lot of comedy and there's a lot of action. So it's a big experience on every level and we're hoping that there are fans in Malaysia come out and support us. And if you don't know, now you know.